Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 157. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now, let's get into the content. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Enaba in the description down below. All right, so we are now here for the Super Lap Days. This is the third video I've recorded today? That's crazy. I'm three videos down already. That's mad. Uh, so we are at the Nürburgring Nordschleife, then Fujimi Kaido, and then Rally di Positano. I keep messing this one up, so I'm going to put this into Google Translate and figure out what it is. All right, here we go. We're at... Um... Nürburgring. I had to think what it was. I've got Rally di Positano. That's how it's supposed to be said, apparently. Rally di Positano. As they are. Now that you look at the word and you're like, oh, of course it is. When you look at a word that's not English, you just end up going, uh, I don't know. <laughs> This thing's really nice to drive, to be fair. I like this. Hands, good choice of car. This is catchy. I love this song. But yeah, if you are new here, feel free to drop a subscribe. The subscription greatly appreciate it and help support the channel what do you mean sell out you realize on youtube they're called subscriptions there's no money involved that's not a sell out can't sell something without some form of transaction. There's no transaction, so... Ha <laughs> ha! Get wrecked. See, I thought your important call was the fact that my delivery had arrived at your house. And again, you, you, you interrupted me to tell me that a game was on sale. Something that I had already seen previously. Unbelievable. Good to see your priorities are straight. <laughs> oh, I am taking the piss. I am taking the piss. I joke. I joke. I joke. I won't be here till Monday. Yeah, I know that. Because technically speaking, yesterday was day one. Uh, today is day two. Monday's day three, so two to three day delivery. It should be there tomorrow. Uh, on, yeah, Monday. Though, to be fair, it's a private delivery company, isn't it? So, technically speaking, they still work on Sundays. If it was like, uh, what's it called? Royal Mail, they don't work on... Sundays, so oh, 
A road, a road. Rock, a rock, a rock, a rock. A road, a road. The prodigy, right? Uh, Liam, Liam Hewlett? Is that his name? I know it's Liam something. He is one of one of the, if not the most talented artists in the world. Hundred percent. The fact that he can sample songs, get all these weird noises, and make it into a song. The only reason artists like... Um, uh, the only example I can really think of that's like... A big name that actually did stuff. The only reason that artists like... Um, Kanye West... Fucking... Any rapper that you hear nowadays that... Any producer... The only reason that they're, they exist, or they're as popular as they are, or their work is as talented as they can be, is because of the fact that Prodigy existed and made that bar so phenomenally high for music production that people, everyone stepped up their game. But again, sa sampling music wouldn't have been a thing, or as big of a thing as it is today, if it wasn't for the Prodigy. Because everything from the Prodigy songs are technically sampled. There'd be a lot of just custom made songs, which doesn't sound bad on paper. Like, oh look, every artist would be making their own song. That's a good idea. But in reality, a lot of songs, you'd end up with a lot of shit songs. Because most of the time, those good tunes that you hear, a lot of them are sampled. Even down to um, Stronger by Kanye West. That entire song is just a sample of Daft Punk's Work It, Make It, Do It, Makes Us Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger. Uh, I can't remember what the name is, so I just said all the lines. Um... And yeah, that's just an entire sample of that song. And I believe that song as well itself was a sample of something else as well. Because there was like a... It was like a jazz track, like a do 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 something like that, and it um they sampled all the track like different bits, reverse parts of it, and it ended up making a completely different song. It's insane, insanely impressive. The amount of talent that music artists have nowadays is unreal. I'll be honest though, I'm 99% sure that Skrillex samples everything that he makes. Because the amount of times that I've heard this beat, every song I swear has this beat, that Skrillex makes. All of his modern ones anyways. Because he doesn't do dubstep anymore. Skrillex basically wrote dubstep as a genre. He made dubstep what it is today and then disappeared. Like, he made dubstep songs for three years and then fucked the genre, made other stuff. It blows my mind that he did that. It seems crazy now that it, when you think about it. But, I don't know. Maybe he didn't like the music in the end. <laughs> I got something in my eye. 
Ow! Ouchie. That's not ideal. Oh, this is a good song. This is from a old um, dance song from like I think it's from the 80s. Run away, come on. I, I can't remember the lyrics. Tell me why. Do you know what? I feel like I would love to be able to drive a car like this. But I also feel like in the UK, with the UK's insurance and how expensive it is, um, me driving this, the insurance would cost me 20 grand a year. Every year. For the rest of my life. Tell me And the only reason songs like this exist is the prodigy. The prodigy is Hello. How the hell is that even remotely fair? Car just drove it into me. That's not fair. It should be the other way around. I should be driving into them. That's how this shit works. Look, even the Ferrari's holding the other guys up. See, look at that Corvette. The Corvette wants to get past. Corvette's not allowed past because there's a Ferrari in front. Typical Ferrari drivers, isn't it? Come on, get out of the way. It's an actual race now. I got up the inside. That's what she said. That's what she said. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Such a beautiful... This is also another track that should be remastered. There is no way in hell, like... The thing is, if they've only shown one new track, they haven't shown any remastered tracks other than... Uh, what's it called? Maple Valley. I'm gonna be totally honest. If the new motorsport game doesn't have... At least... The problem that I have is the fact that the gameplay was a bit dull in the last game. So it needs it needs a decent amount of cars, it needs a decent amount of tracks, and it needs a decent amount of content to do. That includes remastered in some tracks. They've got to remaster some tracks. This is one of them. Bring this back. They could quite easily do it. Dick. Yo, Tropical Nebula, what up? How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day. Yeah, I'm finally back on YouTube. I'm back streaming. I'm back streaming again. And obviously, 
the streaming is now being done on YouTube instead of Twitch. And I'm also back making videos for YouTube as well. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I'm a very happy man. Hey, awesome to hear. Awesome to hear you're having a great day. The only thing I have realized that I don't have on my stream is... Oh, you're Wolfie. Ah, fair enough. Awesome. At least I know who you are now. <laughs> yeah, it might be able to change your username for YouTube. That, that's the one problem that I think I'm going to have adjusting is the fact that everyone on Twitch has a different name, username on YouTube. So it's going to take a while to... Obviously, I'm not going to know everyone that comes into chat anymore. Because A, it's been six months. Fuck. No! Oh, you dick. A, it's been a long time. And B... People have different usernames. Like, I I associate by username. If a username's slightly different, I ain't gonna have a clue who said person is. That's crazy. That's gonna be such a difficult thing to adjust to. But yeah, it is good to see, see people hopping over from Twitch and joining back in the streams and whatnot is awesome and I am thoroughly thoroughly excited to see what everything it has in store for us whoa car sound might be a little loud is it I can turn it down a tad there we go that should be fine. Ooh. I'm looking at sort of the audio level. Yeah, that looks a bit loud, to be fair. It looks a bit better. This is um, Godsmack, isn't it? <laughs> Whoa, fuck me, fuck me. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, this is killing in the name of. Oh, this is a cheer. Oh, don't remind me about the summer sale. I've already spent 45 quid. I bought Riders Republic. And I bought Horizon 4. Because I haven't got Horizon 4 on Steam. And I wanted to get on Steam for when I do the Forza series. And get to it. Uh, but also the fact that... I'm actually really enjoying the Horizon 4 now. <laughs> now that I'm replaying it. And I haven't played it in a while. And I've played Horizon 5. Horizon 4 is a pretty good game. <laughs> yeah. Hor Horizon 4 is a good game. 100%. Horizon 4 is a lot better than Horizon 5. But it, it took us a really terrible game to realise actually Horizon 4 is pretty good. And it took us a 
I mean, Horizon 3, we all knew, was pretty good when we were playing it. But it took Horizon 4 to realise how much of a gem Horizon 3 was. And once Horizon 5 came out, again, Horizon 3's gem status was even more amplified. Yeah, delisting for car games is very popular because of licenses. Um, when it comes to a lot of like Call of Duties and whatnot, technically speaking, firearms and guns and whatnot, I don't think they're actually licensable assets. Um, I may be mistaken on that, but I don't think guns are licensable. Or, hey, no worries, Alex. If you don't mind leaving the stream open for that extra view. <laughs> but yeah, have, have, a, have a good day. Speak to you later, man. I'm going to be streaming for a lot longer, so you'll have plenty of time to pop in and vibe with chat. Um, yeah, I obviously don't take my word for it. I don't think. But I don't think uh, shooting games actually have, like, licenses. Or if they do, they're so cheap like a lifetime license that they just go for it because some of these licenses for these guns in game they can keep these games going for 10 15 20 years and still sell them I will say though that um What's it called? I, I would like for car to, like car makers to realize that actually having cars in video games is a huge advertisement for them. Like there's no way in hell that a car to license a car in a game for a few years, it more than likely costs the developer a grand at the most. Let's be honest. Once you add up all those cars, yeah, it would probably cost a million, two million for all the licenses for Horizon games. But the problem is, car manufacturers can't be getting a lot out of that license money. So why on earth are they licensing them then? Why don't they just do it for free? The games can live on. The brands can live on in these legacies of all these games and then games are higher quality people enjoy the cars more it just seems like a no brainer it just seems like corporate greed but a type of corporate greed that makes it more difficult for you to earn money again I don't understand it a lot of people that are in business right now like the whole point of business, right, is about risk and reward. Like, you don't become a famous business without doing, having risks, making risks, and pulling off big rewards. Obviously, I'm not like, ah, oh, well, you know, Porsche should donate cars to people. No. Like, that's obviously just giving away a shit ton of money. But for something like having your car licensed in another game, it doesn't cost you anything. And you get free advertising out of it. You get people hyped up over your video game. The video games that have your car in it. You then get super fans of cars because they've played them in video games. For example, I am a massive fan of... Um, I, I like BMWs. I like some BMWs because some of them are quite, the new ones I don't like. So maybe that's bad advertising, but you know, some people like it. Um, I'm a huge fan of Lamborghinis. If I had the money, I would buy a Lamborghini because I played them in the video games. Um, so
surprisingly, I quite enjoy a good Toyota. I think Toyotas are really nice. Again, because I've driven them in video games and Fords. Chef's kiss. I love Ford as a company. But again, because I've driven them in video games. And I'm more likely to buy those cars when I go looking for a car than to buy anything else. Honda. Honda in particular love their cars. And again, I'm more likely to go pick up a Honda than anything else. That's free and Well, no, that's... They've been paid to get that advertising. Now, if they made it free and made it that developers could keep all that stuff up, make it that every game could have the car, even if it was down to, okay, well, developers can have the licenses for free, but the licenses have to be approved. So a game developer has to go and say, we would like a free license to be able to use your car in our game the manufacturer goes right well this game is Forza this is a a pretty good game it is well known in the racing game community do you know what you may have the free license if it's some shit game like I don't know well, I haven't got a good example for FIFA but if it's, if it's a terrible game and they're like, no, we don't want our car in it. Fair enough. If that is the reason why they don't do free licenses, then make it so that you have to apply for one and then they give it out as and when they feel it's appropriate for a developer to use their cars. It's a no-brainer. But then again, a lot of these big corporate companies have no brain. They have negative brains. Hence why no-brainer situations don't make sense to them. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.